GoldGriffs.com here with sophomore Erica Evans after the Griffs defeat Monmouth, earning the Metro Atlantic Athletic Championship title. Erica, what's going through your mind right now? I'm ecstatic. It's hard to explain. Like Our team worked so hard this season, and it's great to come out with that win. Erica, you couldn't quite come away with the championship last year, but you've earned your first uh, MAC title. How does it feel? It's amazing. We, from last year, we just knew that we had to come out this year and work so much harder, and we did that, and we accomplished that this season, and it feels great. Erica, last year you stepped in as a star player, as a freshman. Now that you're at the end of your sophomore season, how can you sum up the season? What can you take away looking back? I just gained a lot of experience from my freshman year, and I knew I had to come in and um, play better this year. And I think my teammates are the reason for that. They just push me every single day in practice and make me the better player that I am. Erica, the Grissom, their goal, you got what you've been fighting for all season. But now what's the mentality going into the NCAA tournament? Um, we just got to keep pushing. We're going to go up against a great opponent, and we just got to keep coming out hard and playing like we Canisius lacrosse. Thanks, Erica. Congratulations to a great season. Thank you. GoGriffs.com here with senior Taylor Giglio after the Griffs defeat Monmouth, earning their MAC championship title. Taylor, what's going through your mind right now? I mean, that was a very exciting game. Um, honestly, I just want to thank God, first off, for the opportunity and keeping everyone safe out there. Um, it's so exciting to come out on top. We've worked so hard all year, and to see that hard work and dedication pay off is just amazing. Taylor, as a senior, this is your last go-around go around with the Griffs, and you go out with a championship. What does that mean to you? Um, it feels really good to, you know, last game on the Dembski to end on a high note um, and to have that opportunity to advance in the tournament is another goal of ours, so it's good to have that chance my last year here. Taylor, before we talk about moving into the NCAA tournament, just kind of look back on the season. How do you sum it all up? What do you take away from your senior season? Um, it comes down to a lot of hard work. Our team sacrifices a lot. And, you know, it was a goal of ours to win the championship and go to the NCAAs. And we've done that. And just the work ethic of my teammates and bringing it every single day to really push ourselves to be the best we can is just really awesome and exciting to go out like that in my last year. Now, Taylor, the Griffs are headed into the NCAA tournament for the fifth time in the last six years. What's the mentality heading into the tournament? Um, just keep getting better every single day. That's always our mentality. Um, we've played our best lacrosse today up to this point, and we plan on playing even better in the NCAA tournament. We really want to advance, and I really believe that our team can do that this year. So just working hard every day and bringing it um, when we go to the tournament. Thanks, Taylor. Congratulations. to a great season. Thank you. GoGriffs.com here with head coach Scott Teeter after the Griffs defeat Monmouth here in the championship matchup with the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference coach here in yet another title. Dominant performance, another strong start out of the gates. I can't really um, imagine a more ideal situation for a championship game. Yeah, that's obviously how we, we scripted and it was in the pregame talk that we needed to get off to a, a great start. Um, and, and we did that um, by really excelling in all three areas. I thought we controlled the draw early on um, and then uh, we made our shots on the offensive end. But what really impressed me most was our, our play defensively in the first 15 minutes was outstanding. I mean, Coach, if you look at the final score, obviously you had success on the offensive end, but you mentioned your strong defensive performance, not to mention Rebecca Van Lagen in that. I mean, she was a rock today. She did great yesterday. Talk about her progression over the course of the season. Yeah, uh, Becca's been uh, fantastic for us down the stretch during this winning streak. Uh, she's really, really zeroing in on the ball. And, um, I, and, and I know Becca, when you when you talk about her making saves and that, she's going to she's gonna compliment the defense in front of her by – on giving up like low angle, low percentage shots, um, but when when we need her, she's she's the backbone of our defense to to shut the door. Coach, you now advance to the NCAA tournament for the fifth time in the last six years. What does that say about your program and where it's come to over the years? Um, it's a it's it's a great accomplishment, and it, and it starts not only uh, for my current team right now, for our alumni, and uh, for the ones that w have won uh, championships to continue. Okay, like their their success and their and their tr tradition, but it even goes on before that for the hard work, the hard work and the time and effort that um, our our existing alumni. Put Put in on the early days when when uh, when we were a startup program and 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 that stuff. So it, it's all in all, it's a great a great day to be a Griff and, and it's a great win for our program.
Coach, now it's time to move forward into the tournament. What's the mentality moving into the NCAAs? Uh, we'll definitely enjoy this one and enjoy today. And uh, we'll get the selection show tonight. And then uh, we'll see wh who, where we're heading and, 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 where, and who, who we got. And I think we just go back to the drawing board, get a good scout. And um, this team, I knew from day one that it's a talented team, a talented team. We've had some up, up and downs a little bit this season, but we're playing our best lacrosse right now. And it's a, a little scary that I don't really know how good this team is. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations to a great season. Thank you.